Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I am going to show you how to make the Wayward Washcloth. This is the stitch uh, for projects that are flat for Paying It Forward Friday for August 2023. So the Wayward Washcloth is a small sample of a stitch pattern that if you use multiples of uh, 7 plus 6, you can make it any size you want. This is an interesting stitch and I think it is a good one for beginners that are bored of just doing single, half double, double crochet. This changes it up a bit. It is interesting enough to where if you are a seasoned crocheter that you won't get bored. And it's interesting to boot. So it's sort of an open stitch and I thought that was good for August because we're still you know, warm. So I'm going to go ahead and show you in a washcloth the stitch pattern, and then you can make whatever flat projects you want. Uh, the whole thing behind Paying It Forward Friday is to make items with our, our gifts that were given to us by God to spread to people in need. So with any of my tutorials for Paying It Forward Friday, the stitch is flat. You can work any project you want using the stitch that I show you in a flat project. And then next week on Friday, I will show you the stitch in the round. So this is the tutorial for the Wayward Washcloth. I am going to show you how to do it with the I Love This Cotton Yarn using an I or a 5.5 mm hook. This is great yarn. If you've never tried this, you should pick some up. Also, if you go to Walmart, their cotton that they have, the Mainstays brand of cotton, is fantastic. I'll show it to you. This is the Mainstays cotton, and this is the I Love This cotton. They are so similar that if I was blindfolded, I could not tell you which one was which. Uh, they have the same yardage. 180 yards. Uh, this one, since it's a print, has 153 yards, but the solids, which I have a green right here, has 180 yards. So if you're comparing specs, 180 yards, 165 meters, they're both 100 grams, both 3.5 ounces. They're both size four. They both ask for an I or a 5.5 mm hook. They're both 100% cotton. Uh, this color is sage from I Love This Cotton. Uh, they are both made in Turkey. The cotton from Walmart, the color is soft silver. And like I said, they are really, really hard to tell apart. I'm not gonna lie, I, I think they're the same yarn. So if you don't have a Hobby Lobby or don't shop at Hobby Lobby and you shop at Walmart, their mainstays is pretty much the same exact yarn, except it only comes in solid colors from my Walmart does only anyway. So it is a great yarn and a lot of colors in this yarn at Hobby Lobby. So the color I am using today is called Moonlit Frost and it is gorgeous. I love it. So I'm using an eye hook. It only uses part of this ball of yarn. So make a slip knot to start our washcloth. We are going to chain multiples of seven. I'm going to chain 21. You chain however many you want for as large as your project you want to make. Uh, stop at whatever multiple of seven that you want and then add six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And then I'm going to add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Row one. We're going to put a single crochet in the second chain from the hook 
and chain three. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, put a single crochet in the next. Chain three, skip two, put a single crochet in the next. Chain three, skip three, put a single crochet in the next. Chain three, skip two, put a single crochet in the next. Chain three, skip three, put a single crochet in the next. Chain three, skip two, put a single crochet in the next. Chain three, skip three, put a single crochet in the last. That is our row one. Row two, we are going to chain three. The chain three will count as a double crochet in this pattern. So in the next chain three space, we're going to do four double crochets in that chain three space. So around the chain three, do one, two, three, and four double crochets. Then we're gonna chain one. And in the next chain three space, we're going to put just one double crochet. Chain one. In the next chain three space, put four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, put just one double crochet in the next chain three space. Chain one again, put four in the next chain three space. Chain one, one double crochet in the next chain three space, chain one, and then four double crochets in the next chain three space. In the last stitch we need to go into is our single crochet that we had and we're going to put a double crochet in that that is the end of our row two looks like this and now we're going to do row three row three we're going to chain one turn our work we are going to put a single crochet in this first double crochet right here same spot and then we're going to chain three one two three we're going to skip all these double crochets right here and we're going to put a single crochet in this first chain one space and then we're going to chain three again and we're going to put another single crochet on the other side of that double crochet we're going to chain three skip those four double crochets and put a single crochet in the chain one space chain three Skip the one double crochet, put a single crochet in that chain one space. Gonna repeat that across, chain three, skip four double crochets, single crochet, chain three, skip the one double crochet, single crochet in the chain one space, chain three, skip the four double crochets, put a single crochet in the chain one space, and then put a single crochet at the top of your last stitch there. Okay, that is our row three. Now we're gonna go on to row four. We're gonna chain four, and that counts as a double crochet and a chain one. In this first chain three space here, we're gonna do one double crochet. 
we're going to chain one. And in this next chain three space, we're going to put four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. We're going to chain one and put one double crochet in the next chain three space. Chain one, put four double crochets in the next chain three space. Chain one, one double crochet in the next chain three space, chain one, four double crochets in the next chain three space. Chain one, one double crochet in the next chain three space, chain one, and then put a double crochet in your last row's single crochet. And that is our row four. Now we're gonna go on to row five. We're gonna chain one, turn our work. We're gonna single crochet in this first and same spot as our chain one. And we're gonna chain three. We're gonna skip that double crochet right there and put a single crochet in that chain one space. Now we're going to chain three again and we're going to skip the next four and put a single crochet in that chain one space. And we're going to chain three again. We're going to put a single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain three. Skip those four double crochets. Single crochet in your next chain one space. Chain three and repeat that all the way across. Put a single crochet at the top of your chain three from your previous row. That is our row five. Now we're gonna repeat row two, three, four, and five until you get to the size that you want on your project. And then we'll do a simple border around my washcloth and whatever project you're on, you can do the same thing or you can choose whatever edging that you would like. Row two, we will chain three. and put four double crochets in this first chain three space. You will know your repeat when you are looking at your work and your previous row has one double crochet in the chain three space below, you know that you're gonna start with four double crochets in your first. So it's always going to go back and forth. This one you have four, this one you have one, this one you'll have four, next time you'll have one. So whatever you did on this row, you're going to do the opposite on this row. That means after our four double crochets in our chain three space, we will chain one and put one double crochet in this chain three space. Chain one, and then put four double crochets in this one. Chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four double crochets. Chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four double crochets. And last stitch is in the top of our last rows.
stitch right here, the single crochet, I'm going to do a double crochet. Okay, so that was a repeat of row two. So now we're going to repeat row three. And row three, we chain one. And we put a single crochet in the first stitch right here as our chain one. And then we're chain three. Skip the first four double crochets and put a single crochet in the chain one space. Chain three. Skip the one, put a single crochet in the chain one space on the other side. Chain three. Skip four double crochets. Single crochet in the chain one space. Chain three. Skip the one double crochet. Put a single crochet in the chain one space. Chain three. Skip four. Single crochet in chain one. Chain three. Skip one. Single crochet in chain one. Chain three. Skip four. Single crochet in the chain one space and single crochet in the top of your chain three. Repeat of row four. Sorry, I'm fighting with my yarn. It's getting stuck on my yarn, Jeannie. I twirled too much. <laughs> I went too fast. So row four, we chain four. And remember, whatever we did on our previous row, we do the opposite on this row, right? So we did four double crochets on this one. We're only going to do one on this one. So one double crochet, chain one, four double crochets. Chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four double crochets. Chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four double crochets. Chain one, one double crochet, chain one, double crochet in your last stitch there. And that is the end of our row four. Row five, our repeat for that one would be chain one, turn your work, single crochet in your first double crochet. And then we're going to chain three. If I can get more yarn. There we go. Chain three. Put a single crochet in this uh, chain one space right here. Chain three. Skip four. Single crochet in the chain one space. Chain three. Single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain three. Skip four, single crochet in chain one, chain three, skip one, single crochet in chain one, chain three, skip four, single crochet in the chain one, chain three, skip one, single crochet in the chain one, single crochet in the last stitch. And then we'd repeat row two. Row two, we would chain three. Turn your work, look at your work, decide what you did last row, and do the opposite. So we would chain three and put four double crochets right here and go on our pattern just like we were. I'm going to finish up. I only have a couple of more rows to do and then I will hit a square and I'll meet back up with you to show you a simple single crochet edging for this cloth. Okay, so I'm going to finish on a row five. Chaining one, single crochet in the same, chain three, single crochet after that first double crochet, chain three, skip four, just repeating row five. So 
I can put an edging on it. That way it will be a little more stable as a washcloth. If you don't want to do an edging, you sure don't have to. So I'm just going to do a simple single crochet edging, chaining one, turning my work after my, my row five. It may not be a square, but I don't want to, yep, it is. I take one corner, hold it up to the opposite corner. If it matches, it's square. So I'm going to just put single crochet around the washcloth, all the way around. Typically what I do is I'll do two single crochet per double crochet along an edging, uh, basically eyeballing it unless you want to count it out and make sure all of your sides have the same amount of stitches. I do three stitches for the corner because I do one for the end, one for the corner, and one for the side. That's just the way I do it. If you have another way, you can do it that way. Um, and, and I just randomly go along, making sure I don't put too many or too little stitches on the sides so that it stays square and stays a, you know, a decent laying washcloth. So chaining one, turning my work, I'm going to go ahead and put a single crochet in that same one. And then I'm going to add another one because on the way around, I'm just going to put one in over here. And then looking at my chain three spaces here, I'm going to do two in each of them, two single crochets in each of them. I'm going to put three single crochet in this corner stitch here. One, two, three. Turn my work a bit to the side. And then, like I said, I usually do two single crochets per each double crochet on the side of my work. You can go in the double crochets. You can go around the double crochets. It doesn't much matter. Three in the corner. I have to this other side here. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side, and I'm going to put two single crochets in each of these chain spaces here. Adding one more single crochet at the end, just like I said I would. And then I'm going to cut the yarn. And that gives you a basic foundation for any other edging that you want to do on the washcloth or blanket or whatever you're making. And you can block these since they are a little bit loose. If you don't like them to look too loose, you can block it. But essentially, there you have it. And if you look at the patterning, you can see that the stitches go back and forth. And that's why I named it the Wayward Washcloth. 
So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you want to share any of your makes with me, you can uh, always email me. If you have any questions as well, spiffyhandmade at gmail.com. I have an Instagram account. If you want to private message me and show me any of the projects you've made, you sure can. Otherwise, you can tag me on Instagram and I will see them as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next Friday for this stitch in the round for Paying It Forward Friday. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys.